Thinking of replacing your old stuffy office cubicles for brand new workstations? This video will break down what impacts the cost and will give you a price range to expect. Before we provide you with a price range, it's important to discuss configuration. Configuration is just a broad term that encompasses the size, shape, and layout of your workstation. Configuration can significantly impact the final price. For a reference, the most common layout our customers use is a six foot by six foot L-shaped desk with wall panels that have a height that provide seating privacy. Seating privacy just means walls you can't see over when you're sitting down. So the costs we're gonna to present to you reflect this standard configuration. So, how much does a workstation cost? Between $1,200 to $4,000 per workstation. I know, that's a broad range, but we can't narrow in where you're gonna hit your budget until you ask yourself these two questions. What kind of finishes do you like? And how much storage do you need? So let's dive a little deeper into these two main factors. So first of all, finishes. Needless to say, there are endless options when it comes to finishes and that's really great and fun and important because when you're investing in new furniture, it's important to be able to match to your existing furniture. The main components you need to decide on for finish selection for your workstations are your surfaces, your panels, both the material as well as the height, and then your panel toppers and add-ons. So first of all, surfaces. Typically laminate, but you can certainly upgrade. Panels are extremely customizable, both with height and material. You have a number of heights you have to choose from, whether you need standing height privacy, sitting privacy, as we previously defined, or a really low profile to exude that open concept look and feel. Materials, we tend to start with your standard fabric options. And again, many colors, textures, and grade levels to choose from. Or you can move on to looking at laminates, your writable whiteboard surfaces, veneer, and the options go on and on. And then finally, additional things you can add on to those panel walls. You can add on a storage unit that's mounted on top, or if required, you can also add a reception or a transaction counter. And the second factor, storage. This one's easy. The more storage you add, the more it's gonna cost. But this is a really perfect opportunity to stop and re-examine what your work habits and needs really are. Don't automatically replicate your old configuration. Take a moment to reassess. And by this I mean, ask yourself these two questions. Number one, what storage components do you really need or what are you just used to having? And that being your overhead storage unit, your credenza, your filing, your pedestal, mobile ped, the list goes on and on. Secondly, your binders, your references and reading materials. How much of it do you really wanna store in your space? How much do you need it every day? Versus what could you perhaps store in a shared bookcase? Same goes for your filing and paper documents. What do you actually need to have access to every day versus what could be stored in a shared filing system? So to recap, as you've learned, a workstation can ultimately be designed to suit any of your needs, whether it's budget, style, storage needs, et cetera, as well as the associated costs involved. Again, as we emphasize, based on the applications we define for you, prepare a budget anywhere of $1,200 to $4,000. But again, to narrow in on where you fit into that range, ask yourself those two questions. What finishes do you really want? And how much storage do you really need? So, I really hope this video helps shed some light on what you need to budget. If you have more office furniture questions, please check out our office furniture buying guide. There are many, many more questions there that we commonly get asked all the time. Uh, just click on the link below and get your copy now. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more content.